Hi there. Welcome to Mathematics Alive Algebra Lesson 13, Factoring Polynomials Using Algebra Tiles. Algebra tiles make the abstract concept of polynomials concrete and visible. Factoring is a concept that most students have a hard time understanding. When I was a student, I also had a hard time understanding this concept. But now with the use of algebra tiles, it's just like solving a puzzle, and it is an enjoyable experience. Steps in factoring a polynomial using algebra tiles. Represent the given polynomial with algebra tiles. So for my algebra tiles, I represented x squared with yellow tiles and then unit tiles with yellow small squares and then the x tiles are in green to make it colorful and the dimensions of my x tiles are one by x the counterpart for the negative tiles are all in red second step is to make a rectangular area model of the polynomial and then third is determine the dimensions of the rectangular model using x tiles and unit tiles and fourth write these dimensions as factors of the polynomial example one you represent the given with algebra tiles 4x plus 6 so we have four x's and six unit tiles then we make a rectangular area model. So we see that um, the vertical component of the rectangle is one plus one, and then the horizontal component is two X plus three. So the factors of our polynomial is two times two X plus three. Example two represent the given with algebra tiles. We have x squared, five x's, and six unit tiles. Then make a rectangular area model. So we have uh, x plus one or x plus two and x plus three for our dimensions. And these dimensions become the factors of our um, of our polynomial. Example three, represent the given with algebra tiles again. So we have x squared, negative x, and negative unit tiles, six negative unit tiles. And then we form a rectangle out of this, but it seems that we cannot form a rectangle because there are missing spaces here. Uh, but that will be so by adding two zero pairs. And this will be the result. The, the factors are x plus 2 and x minus 3. Example 3. Again, we represent the given with algebra tiles x squared minus 3x plus 2. And form a rectangular area model. So we have x here and negative one, and then another x and negative two. And the factors are x minus one, x minus two. Number five, two x squared plus seven x plus three. We represent this with algebra tiles. We have two x's, x squared, and seven x's and three unit tiles then we form a rectangular area model and the dimensions are x 2x plus one and x plus three did you enjoy factoring with the use of algebra tiles please like and share this video to your friends if you have not yet subscribed to this channel please click the red button below to keep you updated with my latest videos. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.